Hello friends, today we will be making a salt dough bowl for loose changing keys as a Father's Day craft. Let's begin. You will need a big bowl and a spoon for mixing, half a cup of water, one cup of salt, and one cup of flour. Start by mixing together the salt, and the flour together in your bowl. Take your spoon and mix them until they are all mixed together. It's a lot of mixing. Keep mixing, almost there. Once your flour and salt is mixed together, make a little hole in the bottom of your bowl for your water. If you would like, add 10 drops of food coloring to your water to make your salt dough colorful. Pour your water into the little hole you made in the flour and salt. Don't add it all at once, but little by little mixing in between. This helps the water mix all the way together with the flour and salt. Just a little bit at a time. And mix, mix, mix again. Once you've mixed the best you can with the spoon, it's time to get messy and use our hands. Squish the dough together. This is called kneading. Keep on kneading your dough until it makes a little round ball. Just like we kept on mixing, we gotta keep on kneading. Once your dough is kneaded, put some flour or parchment paper on your counter to protect it and put your salt dough ball on top. Gently press down and flatten it out, trying to keep it in a nice neat circle. Don't flatten it out too much. It should be about this thick. Now that you have your circle, we are going to pinch the edges to make a lip so your dad's keys and loose change do not fall out the side. Take the salt dough and just pinch, pinch, pinch to make an edge. Don't worry about it looking too pretty at this point. We're going to fix it up in a minute. Just make it so that it has a lip or an edge. Take a few minutes to keep on pinching and smooth out the edge of your bowl.
The more you pinch, the smoother it gets, but it doesn't need to be perfect. If you push down in the middle, it will help make sure that your bowl is deep enough as well. Once you're done, your bowl should look something like this. Don't worry too much about if there's little cracks. You can always paint over them when you're done. Now is a good time if you'd like to add any beads or marbles or anything special before we put it in the oven. Put your salt bowl with the parchment paper onto a baking sheet and into the middle rack of your oven. Bake at 300 degrees for 15 to 30 minutes, checking on it regularly. I recommend leaving the bowl in the oven until both the oven and the bowl are cooled off to make sure it's really dry before you start decorating. Once it's dry, you can decorate it using markers, paint, or whatever you'd like. Get creative! Then it'll be ready for the catch of the day, whether it be keys or loose change. Thanks for watching!